Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. US equities finished higher in Wednesday's trading, ending just off session highs. The Dow Jones Industrial Average mounted a big comeback from its 2022 low as the Bank of England said it would buy bonds to stabilise its financial markets. The bank stressed it was not seeking to lower long-term government borrowing costs. Instead, it sought to buy time to prevent a vicious circle in which pension funds have to sell gilt immediately to meet demands for cash. At some point this morning, I was worried this was the beginning of the end, said a senior London-based banker, adding that at one point on Wednesday morning, there were no buyers of long-dated UK gilts. It was not quite a Lehman moment, but it got close. The daily move in long-term gilts was unprecedented, with investment banks insisting the Bank of England intervene. The expectation was that if there was no intervention today, gilt yields could have gone up to 7 to 8 per cent from 4.5 per cent this morning, and in that situation, around 90 per cent of UK pension funds would have run out of collateral. The move stabilised the British pound, but the $65 billion Bank of England bond purchase program will cause political chaos for the new trust government and her chancellor. With the move expected to be inflationary at a time of already high inflation. Overnight, the Dow jumped 1.9%, and the SP 500 and the NASDAQ both rose 2%. The Dow and the SP 500 snapped a six day losing streak. The rally was broad based across the sectors. The energy sector rallied as oil prices rose 4.7 per cent on Wednesday following unexpected drawdowns in US crude and fuel stocks, outweighing downward pressure from the continued strength in the US dollar. In biotech news, Biogen surged 40 per cent, adding about $15 billion to the company's market cap after the company said its experimental Alzheimer's drug significantly slowed the disease's progression following a large study. Its partner in the study, Japanese pharmaceutical company Azai, rose 17 per cent in Tokyo trading. One notable outlier was Apple, which was down about 1.3 per cent after a Bloomberg report, citing people familiar with the matter, said the tech company is ditching plans to increase new iPhone production after demand fell short of expectations. Investors on Wall Street remained worried that investors have not priced in an earnings slowdown and the impact of the Federal Reserve's rate hikes. Meaningful dislocations in rate and FX markets continue to drive concerns that something is going to break. Billionaire investor Stanley Druckenmiller commented at CNBC's Investor Summit in New York City on Wednesday how he believes there will be a hard landing by the end of 2023. Druckenmiller said, I will be stunned if we don't have a recession in 23. I don't know the timing, but certainly by the end of 23. In currency news, the US dollar index was down 1.2% with sterling rallying. China's yuan recovered slightly after falling to a 14-year low against the dollar Wednesday, despite central bank efforts to stem the slide. Overnight, one Australian dollar has strengthened, buying 65.27 US cents. In commodity news, iron ore futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Gold rose about 2% on Wednesday as a retreat in the dollar rekindled some of its safe haven appeal. Silver was up almost 3%. In the copper market, China's rapid build-up of clean energy is claiming more copper, supporting the market at a time when traditional sources of demand, like housing, are in the dumps. Copper imports are one of the few bright spots in the otherwise bleak picture for Chinese commodities consumption. Copper added 2.3 per cent and oil gained 4.7 per cent. The SPY futures are pointing to a 1.5% gain this morning. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day.